YouTube. I decided to cut the one roller down with a hacksaw. Because this was such a pain in the butt, I decided to do it with the plasma cutter. It actually turned out better with the plasma cutter than it did with the saw. It has a few minor imperfections where I stopped the cut. Um, and a little bit of burn residue on the, uh, the plastic inside here. But nothing that will affect the performance of it, so I'm very happy with that. Alright YouTube, this is what I have so far. The hoist will mount on this sideways. Then these angle pieces are going to be welded on here. I'll obviously have to drill out some holes through there once I get it mounted. So they will mount on there or something like that. This piece represents the beam that is in the s up in the uh, attic. doesn't represent it well because it's all chopped up, but we'll just pretend that's the piece that goes in the attic, so it'll be spaced something like that. These are the pieces that I was just working on. This shaft will fit into the rollers like such. And then it will fit through there, through that hole, and then through this hole. And then this will mount on the side of this, like so. It's all spot welded together. I used these bars to make sure that I was level and that everything was square. And uh, so yeah, now I just need to pull these bars out and mount the rollers on the inside.
All right, so I got our first one finished. Let's see how it fits. This is the piece that we'll be fitting on. Slides in there. We got our quarter inch washer. Fits over there. Quarter inch bolt. And that will go on over the shoulder of the bearing just enough to hold that in. Perfect. Well, it's getting very, very close to completion. I got all the pins welded in. All I need to do now is bolt on the rollers and drill the holes through here to mount the winch on. And then we can test fit it. Yeehaw! Okay, so I took the beam down under the attic so we can get a good view of it here. Here's the whole shebang. I've got it sitting on a jack and on a rung of a ladder here. And I took a grinder to the surface to smoothen it up a bit. And I've decided to make it run straight down the uh, the beam I'm going to drill and tap some holes in this surface here and then I'm going to run some bolts in from the inside out and that way the clearance can be adjusted 